Hello, Bluetooth is the one and only Icebound, Lacey on. This is a quick tutorial on how to set up Vivecraft, modded or non-modded, for SteamVR, Vive, Oculus, Windows MR, and Cardboard. I'm assuming that's Cardboard. Oh, so first things first, what you want to do is, if you're going to do modded, you'll want to get the Twitch app, or the F2B launcher, depending what you choose. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to show the Twitch app. So you're going to hit download for Windows, and then you're going to install it. I have it in there. But yeah, you're going to install it. It's going to ask you a few things. You can download a few things, and eventually you'll end up with take time. the Twitch launcher. Come on. Yeah. Okay. So what you'll want to do when you get to the Twitch launcher is you want to go to I hate all my words. <laughs> uh, okay, settings. And then you want to go to I do not need to enable oh yeah, Minecraft. Right. And for me I like to put my Minecraft path in documents. But just make sure you know where this is, wherever the default is or where you saved it to. And you want to make sure that this whole Minecraft tab is enabled. Otherwise, the other settings, you know, you put those to four or three, but it's up to you. It doesn't really matter. Make sure latest version of Java, yada, yada. It'll do everything for you anyway. So then you want to go to the Mods tab, click on Minecraft, and you'll have whichever mod you want to use. Uh, the ones I prefer using are either Pixelmon, Sky Factory, for those people that are terrified of heights. Even try the new one, meh. Um, and also my favorite mod pack, which is the Hermit pack. But yeah, I'm weird. Yeah, you could also do stone block, but if you're claustrophobic, you're, you know, you're kind of fucked in it. Um, but yeah. So once you've downloaded a pack, by going here, clicking install, all right. Then what you'll want to do is you want to at least run it once. So you hit play, launch it, whatever. As long as you've ran it once, you don't even have to do a big mod pack. You can do a small one. You could even go create custom profile. All right, make sure it's version one dot twelve or dot two or one dot ten dot two depending on which version of Minecraft you're running, then you just run it. If you're not doing a modded version, you're just doing a vanilla version, you can also do it this way, just you know, disable the um, forge, so you just use vanilla Minecraft, or you can go to minecraft.net. I'm assuming that's the website, so it probably hasn't changed in years. You get the download page, make sure you log in, and it will download Minecraft, and you can launch it off of that launcher anyways. Which, if you hit play here, it's going to bring up the same launcher. Once it loads. Yeah, so you just get this launcher. Right? So as I said, you just play once, at least have that launched once. And what you can do is you can go to your files for Vicraft. You can go down to the download tab. Should be... Uh, download. And then you want to hit, uh, depending, as I said, depending which version. Oh, they updated it for 1.13 finally. Nice. Uh, Vicraft 1.12 and Vicraft 1.10, as I said, depending either which mod pack or which vanilla version you want to run. Um, you don't really need the server mods because I've ran servers off my computer. Go here. Not there. Yeah, Vicraft. This, this is Vivecraft right here. Got a couple extra things, but otherwise there's nothing else in there that isn't default. And yes, it's a hell of a lot of stuff just to run fucking Sky Factory 3, and it takes like three minutes to fucking on. Ridiculous. Like if it crashes, in there. Also, if you want to learn how to, you know, host that, I can put a link in the description without having to port forward or use the mod sheet. So, you know, so there's a video in the description on how to set up a server for that. You can host it directly off your computer or off of you know a computer that's on your network or any network. As long as you own the computer and you can you know put files on it and stuff. Alright, so once you've downloaded the correct version of Vivecraft, you'll want to hit launch. Double click it, the installer, right? And you want to make sure that the default path is to what you set your Minecraft instance to. I know that sounds as I said, for me, it's in my uh, 
Minecraft, install. Right? So that's why I put mine in documents. It's a lot easier to find, especially for screenshots and other things. But yeah, that's the one I'll be using. And I'll put it directly into the, um, into this folder here. Right? As long as it installs there. And if you're just doing default vanilla Minecraft, it should be in app data, which should be in uh, users slash. No, does this not show? Oh, huh. interesting. Good SSD users slash app data roaming Minecraft. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I know how to get to that, but I guess you could do search in percent app data percent in an old fashioned tool. Um, yeah, and then you would set it to that. And as I said, if you're doing modded, then you want to go mod pack directory and you want to go to, again, your, tur your uh, first launcher, Twitch launcher. You want to go instances and click on the mod pack you wish to install it for. Again, making sure that you've already launched it once. Right, and then you just hit open, make sure it's set to that and there. Um, if you are doing modded, make sure install Minecraft with Forge. And depending on which mod pack you have, you might need a custom version of Forge. So, like if I go Sky Factory, it says version 2477. So, we'd want to put the last four digits as 2477. Right, making sure obviously the first two digits are the same. If they're not the same, then that means you're using the wrong version of Minecraft or Forge. Because like 14 is for 1.12, and then 12 is for 1.12. Yeah. Uh, gigabytes RAM, depending on the mod pack. It won't change anything if you're doing modded, but if you're doing vanilla, then it's going to preset the pre profile for you. You can always change that later on. And that's pretty much it, unless you want to set a custom profile name so you can find it easier. Uh, usually, it will automatically put in the name of the mod pack and say Vipecraft Forge is what you to find. And once you've launched that and installed it, then you can go to your game. Launch options. Click here. And you'll notice there should be a Vivecraft Forge option. Just hit save. And then you go here and it should be right there. And if you're doing it on vanilla and not modded, it would already have this part filled out properly. So you don't even have to worry about that. Yeah, so that's how to set up Vivecraft Forge. Um, if you want me to do quick tips on settings you may want to get better performance and or less latency or higher quality, or, I don't know, keep moving around a lot easier, you know, just let me know. I could also do a quick tutorial on that. This one was supposed to be quick, but I doubt it. Eight minutes. Yeah, that's way too fucking long. So, but yeah, if you guys like the video, hit the like button. If it dis if you disliked it, why are you still watching? There's so many YouTubers that do this kind of stuff better. Uh, if you guys are wondering why I'm not uploading in like forever, it's because I kind of gave up on YouTube. It sounds terrible, but uh, I might be coming back actually. I'm thinking of doing some scrap mechanic tank stuff with actual tracks, of course, vanilla as well. Switch list. So that'll be a thing. Um, I'm also thinking of making or finishing off few of the projects that I've already started. I'm still waiting for people to send me amusement rides because apparently no one cares about that anymore for Scrap Mechanic. Um, also, I'm thinking of streaming or recording more Crossout because I'm really loving Crossout right now. Also, if you guys want me to stream or record our chat, let me know. Um, that I'll probably be doing on Twitch, but I could also do it on YouTube. Ugh, this entire minute of self-plug. Sorry, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.